morning everyone. Just want to let you know that there is a uh, new uh, Master's Guidance reading over on the other channel if you'd like to join me there. And uh, I just wanted to share with you an experience I had a couple of nights ago. It's taken me a couple of days to process. So what I would like to do is I would like to acknowledge the uh, First Nations Waramais people whose land on which we sit at this time. Um, I was actually, I actually received a, uh, a visit while in that twilight zone from a First Nations elder, an Aboriginal elder. It was really beautiful and with him was a young lad. It wasn't a child, it was more like a young teenager and he had on his shoulder a pet possum. I just remember this pet possum and he was holding it by the tail as it was curled around on his shoulder. I think it was curled that way. It was so, so adorable. Anyhow, the um, the elder, um, I, I had made that decision at that time to acknowledge um, the First Nations people on whose land I am at this stage. Um, in Australia, we have um, 200 plus uh, different um, uh tribes that have different uh, areas, even though the Aboriginals, the First Nations people, were a uh, semi-nomadic people and they did travel extensively. There are particular areas that are considered their home, uh, home areas. They did not uh, own the land. They uh, belonged to the land. And that's why often when you hear about um, First Nations people talking about um, uh, going back to country, uh, that they, they don't see themselves as owners, but rather custodians, which is a is a view I greatly admire. Uh, so we are here on Waramai land. Uh, over the river is um, a Wabakal land. Um, so I like to acknowledge the War Waramai people. So I had this visit uh, from this elder, and after I had made that decision that I would acknowledge the lands that I'm on and the ancestors of the lands I am on, he came to me and he just brushed his hand across my forehead, cupped my chin and looked deeply into my eyes and it was incredibly moving. It wasn't a welcome to country. You may have heard um, in Australia that our First Nations people do also do a welcome to country ceremony. That is when the um, green eucalypt is burnt and you walk through the smoke to cleanse your spirit before entering a uh, new area of the country. So if I was uh, visiting the Waramai from the Awabakal, I would um, go through this welcome to country ceremony. And it is about uh, the smoke cleansing the spirit. Um, so it, it wasn't so much a welcome to country, it was just more a um, a blessing. I was going to say gratitude, but it's not so much a gratitude. It was a blessing that I felt that I was um, able to acknowledge this as a squeaky white <laughs> um, European descent. So I am proud um, of the heritage of this country. Um, I stand up for the rights um, to acknowledge our history. Um, our history, like so many colonised countries, is harsh and brutal and very unpleasant. And I think we need to be fully aware of it to be able to acknowledge um, what has gone on in the past. And only by acknowledging can we um, move forward as, um, as a whole country. So thank you for joining me and I hope to see you on the other channel. If you have any questions, please uh, don't hesitate to ask. And love, heartfelt love to you all. Bye-bye.